I'm forward in life for anybody that don't know what I'm doing here. I'm trying to get the word out as best I can. We got some uh, serious things going on. Got some good opportunity here for us to spread the word of God. I got a good message, I believe, tonight. The Lord has uh, shown me. I hope y'all are willing to dive in here and look at some of this stuff. And let's take a look, see at it. Praise God. How's everybody doing? First things first, of course, we're going to take up prayer requests. So if y'all got any, y'all go ahead and start shooting them at me. Hey, Trish. Sarah Lou, praise God. Good to see you, Jim. Soon, good to see you, buddy, James. Turban mechanic. That's what I'm talking about. Turban mechanic. The main man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's good to see y'all all tonight. Phineas, what's up, man? Hallelujah. Steven's in the house, too, man. That's awesome. Hallelujah. God is good. We got Diesel on the prayer cloth right here, on the prayer list right here already. James, how you doing there, buddy? Hallelujah. I just hopped out of a doozy of a rabbit hole. Learned some interesting things. <laughs> which one you been down, Sarah? Can you tell us just tell us which, which rabbit hole you dropped down in? It wasn't Sagara Gesera Gesera Ganera or whatever it is. I got a friend that was calling talking to me about that today. Once again, I'm not important. I don't, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not an important person. I know important people. Okay. Um, you know, I know people that know stuff. I don't know nothing. Uh, speculation on a good day. How do you eat? Celebs and selling. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, it wasn't processed foods, was it? You know, pizza, stuff like that. Um, they uh, sell their souls, you know, routinely. Here's the funny part is people say, well, they sold their soul to the devil, right? Here's the track. The fact of the matter is you can't sell your soul to the devil. It don't belong to you. You can go into a contract with him. I'm not arguing that. You can get in a contract with him all day long. But he don't belong. You don't belong to him, ever. Okay, he's trying to trap you into, uh, to do that. Yeah, no, you know, I don't hear you can't. Uh, <clears throat> you can't buy it. That's it. That's what I'm saying. It's God's, if you will, but... You know, allow him to redeem it. He's already done what needs to be done. We have to do our part in point blank, just 100%. That's just how it rolls. Praise God. Hallelujah. Whew. All right. Now, tonight, I want to start off by mentioning the prayer cloth ministry. If you uh, would like a prayer cloth, this is a prayer cloth right here. We take this little cloth right here. We anoint it with oil, my wife and I. We pray over it, and we mail it to you. We mail it to you for free. All right, we're building a worldwide web of prayer warriors. We hope you would want to be a part. If you want a prayer cloth, all you have to do is message me, a uh, direct message here on this app. I need a mailing address. I don't know where you are. You can email it to me. I will take emails and, and send them to you. All I have to have is a, an, a, a valid postal address that I can mail it to. I don't care whether you're in the United States or around the world. We've mailed them to Australia, Pakistan, um, same price, absolutely free, 100%. We're not going to ask you for anything. We're not going to demand anything. I just don't know where to send it. I want you to have one. God wants you to have one, but I don't know where you are. So I can't make up addresses and send them to you. So if you want to take a screenshot of this, cause I'm fixing to take it down and, uh, you know, just, just understand, uh, if you missed it, just holler at me. We'll put it back up. Uh, just understand, we want you to have one. We've got them in every state except Montana. So if y'all know somebody in Montana that wants a prayer cloth, let me know. We'd love to send them one. Praise God. Montana, I believe Montana is the least populated state we've got. Hallelujah. Something else going on up there too, y'all. Yeah, the uh, cartels out of Mexico are deciding that that's a good place. There ain't a whole bunch of people up there. So they're 
populating the place is my understanding now. I don't know about that. It's conspiracy theory, educational purposes only, comedic value, yada, yada. Yep, I needed one in Montana to have all 50, Donna. <laughs> Accounted for, hallelujah. All right, well, then we want to take up prayer requests. We want to start off. Scott Basin for his heart. Trish for arthrofibromyalgia, arthritis and fibromyalgia. Jonathan, get renewed and come home. Joe, Renee, and Carter. Cisco for restoration. Kenneth for recovery. Irene, Tiffany, and Lucas. Hayden, Emily, and Becca. The troops, wherever they are. The United States. Israel. And when I pray for Israel, people, please understand, I'm not pray. I'm, I'm, well, man, you need to get somebody up there to get a, a prayer cloth. We're going to send up there, Bo. <laughs> All right, when I pray for Israel, I'm not praying for the government of Israel. I'm praying for the people of Israel. Like I told y'all the other night when we was talking about the red heifer, they start digging up and getting ready to put that temple up. They're going to have revival. And they're going to figure out that their revival, their, that the time for that religion has passed, that they need to come back into the fold, the real, the truth. Okay? And that's why the, the outer temple, pray for my six kids. Kevin, sure will, buddy. Kevin's six kids. Kevin's kids. All right, done, bro. Hallelujah. Uh, John for Bible wisdom. Okay. Uh, so Ozzy for the VA. Julia for health and finances. Ashley for health and finances. Uh, Julia got a job today, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. Um, Shell, Roger, stage five kidney, baby white, Gage Howard has MLD, Jeremy for his disc, he needs finances and health and a car. That's the Fawcett family. Jason for kidney cancer, Brian Glaze family, Rhonda Barnes for no insurance. Elaine, her hubby Scott for end of life. Uh, Haley has IVF, or she's in vitro. Diesel for a clean report and Kevin, six kids. Also remember Shirley Smith for pain in her leg, Sherry Posey for lymphedema, Irene for hepatic encephalitis and COVID, Miss BM for spiritual authority, her family and finances, Bobby Smith for health. And you're going to hear that finances more and more because this economy is tanking out and there ain't not one thing that anybody can do. It has two interviews this week. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hannah, get a job. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Bobby Smith for his health, Norman for pancreatitis, the Fawcett family, hallelujah. Baby Brooks Anderson, I'm gonna put him over here. My writing, y'all, is as bad as it gets. Baby Brooks Anderson, hallelujah. There he is. Sandra Taylor, Trey Walton. Trey continues to get better, Lord willing. Hallelujah. Pray for my wife's family. Her stepdad had a terrible accident today with a tractor and trailer. All right, John Boy, praying for, for that for John Boy's family. Hallelujah. Her, well, his wife's family has had a terrible accident with a tractor and trailer. In Jesus' name, God put your hand over that family and deliver in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Raylene has lupus. Destiny has cancer returned in her neck. Pauline for a heart cath today. Patricia for her back. Judy for colon cancer. Robert Jr. for a clo job closer to home. Big Al, Ronnie and Shannon Chappelle. Shannon's got cancer. The uh, Jared Jason Addison, two weeks. Um, Addison's two weeks old. He lost his mother and a sister in a car crash. Hallelujah. Um, Megan for a job. Megan, uh, Megan had a good interview. That's what I understand. Did she get the job, Finn? Hunter Elliott for knee pain. He's got a big old knot they're going to have to operate on, I guess. I don't know what are they going to end up doing. Um, squirrel ain't on here to tell me. Carrie for chronic pain. Christy Sykes for cancer. Ronnie for pancreatitis. For, that's Stacy Ray's husband. Mary Reed, healing and sugar. Donald for security and health. Tammy Hill for thyroid. Heather for the twins, Tristan Austin of her addiction, Kyle five kid, five stage five kidney failure, Darlene for HPP, Cupcake Snicker, Adriana for family, Eva for family, Ray for emotionals, Jerry Roca has cancer, Trish for her work situation, Kristen King, Baby Brooks Anderson, Hallelujah, thank you Jesus. Have I got everybody? Hallelujah. Okay. Still looking. Okay. 
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God is so, so good. God is so good. Let's just pray then. Lord, in Jesus' name, we come to you in faith, believe, and trust in you, God, lifting you up, magnifying you, knowing, Lord, that you are the one true God, the everlasting Father and Prince of Peace, the King, the mighty, holy Alpha, the Omega, my God. We love you, Lord. We thank you for this day, for this opportunity to come together, to bind together in the name of Jesus, to praise together in the name of Jesus. God, help us right now. Show us your way, your truth, and your light. Lead us, O oh Lord Jesus, that we might be the better people. Hallelujah. Father, forgiving our sins, remember each and every one of the needs on this prayer list and on the prayer cloth list. Hallelujah. We plead, O oh Lord Jesus, that you put the blood over our houses, you put the stripes into our bodies. Even our pets, Lord, that we pray for. God, we plead the stripes of Jesus over them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Help us, God, to be the people that we need to be in this hour we've been chosen to be here. Lord, you are the great, the wonderful, the mighty, the alpha, the omega. Lord, help us, God, to be the people that we need to be right now. In Jesus' name, we pray, we trust, and we believe. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. This is Coffee with Cleo. Let me tell you what. Nobody, nobody makes a better drink than God. Okay? Just know it. If you... Every once in a while, you just want to have a little glass of water. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Yes, I'm pressing the bottle down. Drives my wife absolutely nuts, but she ain't down here, so. Do I look red tonight? I do look red tonight. Hot dog. Where's my blood pressure's up? My, glory, my name is Gloria. Pray for my kidney failure. Lord, in Jesus' name, touch Gloria. God, we plead the stripes over this new friend we found. We ask you to touch her in Jesus' name. To put this, uh, we, we plead for this kidney failure, Lord. We plead that we rebuke it in Jesus' name, that it goes away, that it is that it's managed, that it is controlled. Oh, Father, in Jesus' name, we pray, trust, and believe. We glorify you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm glad all y'all are here tonight. I'm telling you right now. Oh, goodness. Hallelujah. Ooh. I sang glory. Glory, hey, let me tell a story. Tell a story about a man who gave his life for me. Glory, glory, I love to tell the story about a man who gave his life on a hill called Calvary. I've been lifted by his hands, washed in his blood. Everything he ever done, he done it for good. He went up to Calvary. For me paid the price. Filtered comments warning just popped up. I didn't see one. My Lord and my Savior, my God. There they are, sure enough. My God, Jesus Christ. Who you know he would not reject me for the things I had done. Picked me up and washed me off. Yes, he forgave everyone. Like a lamb before sinners, dumb he gave his life. My Lord and my Savior, my God, Jesus Christ. I got to come out of this sweater, y'all. <clears throat> Hallelujah. I wasn't sure if it was going to be... Um, I wasn't sure if it was going to be um, warm enough down here tonight. And so, I, uh, I wore that sweater. I said, well, I can take a sweater off. But if you get cold, it's hard to find something to put on because I'm down here in the basement. You understand? Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Thank you, Amanda Panda. 
she renewed her prescription, her, her subscription. Praise God. Elijah is his middle name. Hunter Rose, Elijah, Hunter, Elijah Rowe. How about that, bro? We're going to talk about that other Elijah tonight, man. If y'all are ready to dive into this, I want to mention the, uh, the, uh, the unity fast is going and the revival. We're getting the revival. Um, Sarah Lou, I think at, after I'm through here, I might have you come on, unless you would want to come on right now and tell everybody what's going on with the uh, the music and stuff. If you're feeling froggy, how you feeling? Are you feeling froggy? If you're feeling froggy, leap. <laughs> Golly, I'm silly, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Me hurt. <laughs> oh, my goodness. There. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay. I seen that. All right. What makes you believe in God? Where were you raised like that? Uh, no, I wasn't. <laughs> I was not raised like that. I was raised by a heathen to be a heathen, and then God interfered. I want you to know that. Now, y'all don't block her now. Okay. I'm going to answer her. That's Mary Lynn. Her question. It's a valid question. What makes you believe in God? Were you raised like that? Nope. I was raised by a heathen to be a heathen, and I was doing a bang-up job. If you'd have thrown me in a, in a room full of all kinds of women, I'd have had every one of them run up in the Diet Gum Rafters. Okay? I drank like a fish, smoked like a train, all kinds of bad things. All right? I, I, and those aren't even the bad things I did. All right? And God found me. Because, see, God, I never looked for God. God found me. So anyways, does that answer your question? Is she still with us? Did you? Good for you, bro. Yeah, I just blocked her anyway. <laughs> Trish says, I don't care. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. I want Sarah Lou to come on and tell us, uh, tell what's going on with the uh, with the revival. I'll get in early on this. Ooh, Sarah Lou. Good evening. How are y'all? Hey. Great. Good. So um, I spoke to a, another gentleman today about music for the revival. Um, he has a band, and it's called High Mountain Bluegrass and Gospel. And so he said, um, I guess normally he works in the evenings and he works every other weekend, but he feels pretty moved to come. So he's going to try to get his schedule shuffled and moved around so that he can make it. He's supposed to get back with, with me with the next day or two. Um, so he's not charging us anything. Um, he said, you know, if we wanted to take up a donation for him or whatever, we could do that for the band. They're traveling all the way out of Romney, West Virginia. So it's a, a little bit of a hike for them to come. Um, and I told him you were coming all the way from Blue Ridge, Georgia. <laughs> he was like, wow. So but, I mean, it's, it's going good. It's every time I, I, you know, somebody tells me, well, you can't do it. It's too late to do this, too late to do that. It's like, mm. It just pops right up. <laughs> so. Let's go. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so it's, it's, this is a really cool thing and I'm humbled to be a part of it and just watch it fall together. And I mean, that, that is a literal thing. It, it, it is just falling right into place. Praise God. Hallelujah. My friend, uh, Trey, that's on the, um, on the, um, prayer list there when I was telling you about the other night his his daddy is Leon Walton and uh Leon Walton is in the country music hall of fame for writing songs and all kinds of stuff he can't hardly play no more because of arthritis and all that stuff has got and boy I tell you what I wish I could drag him up there that would be some more fun that man played a guitar like nobody's business <laughs> like I said I ain't nobody but I know people <laughs> I ain't nobody and I don't know nobody. So. <laughs> you know, 
I know people that are, you know, <laughs> that and usually that and a dollar 35 will get me a cup of coffee at most Waffle Houses. <laughs> you know, with this, though, I'm finding that I don't have to know anybody that's like, as, as soon as I need something and start hunting for it, it's, boop, it's right there. So, you know, the somebody, the somebody. <laughs> God, it's got to be a God thing, folks, for this to be going and, uh, uh, okay. Hunter says he plays. Well, you want to go to Virginia with me and play? <laughs> We're going to be going up there to play. <laughs> Hunter says he can play like nobody's business. I didn't know that, Hunter. Praise God. Okay. Thank you, Sarah Lou. Well, thanks for letting me share, Chloe. Y'all have a good evening. Thank you, dear one. God bless you. You too. All right, cool. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Here we go. Now, if you have your Bibles, if y'all been playing this game for long, let's get to Yeah, I can, I can, I can, I can almost guarantee you that Teddy ain't going to show. <laughs> he, he's afraid he's going to get refilled with the Holy Ghost, man. <laughs> you know what that would do, bro. Oh my goodness, hallelujah. Teddy Swims is Teddy Dimsdale. He was uh he used to come to our church. Him and Jesse used to come to our church. Both of them baptized in Jesus' name, filled with the Holy Ghost, speaking with other tongues, and worshiping God like nobody's business. Whew, hallelujah. All right, man. I, I, let, let's get Teddy. <laughs> Since she was eight years old. When I practice the guitar, I actually get worse. Um, so you know. I, I, I didn't quit practicing because I, I figured I couldn't get much worse. <laughs> now, here we go. If you have your Bibles, it's the book of 2 Kings, chapter number 4, beginning in verse number, verse number 37. It's going to be a long read, um, <clears throat> but we're going someplace, so please rest with us. And it fell on a day that Elisha, I'm sorry, I put Elijah on there, and it's Elisha. Elisha passed to Shuman, where was a great woman, and she constrained him to eat bread. And so it was that as oft as he passed by, he turned in thither to eat bread. And she said unto her husband, See that this is an holy man of God, which passes by us continually. Let us make a little chamber, I pray thee, on the wall, and let us set for him there a bed and a table and a stool and a candlestick, and it shall be when he cometh to us that he shall turn in thither. And it fell on a day that he came thither, and he turned into the chamber and lay there, and he said to Gehazi his servant, Call this Shumanite. And when he had called him, her, she stood before him, and he said unto her, Behold, thou hast been careful for us with all this care, what is to be done for thee? Wouldst thou be spoken for to the king or to the captain of the host? And she answered, I dwell among mine own people. And he said, What then is it to be done for her? And Gehazi answered, Verily, she hath no child, and her husband is old. And he said, Call her. And when he had called her, she stood in the door, and he said, About this season, according to the time of Thou shalt embrace a son. And she said, Nay, my Lord, thou man of God, do not lie unto thine handmaid. And the woman conceived and bare a son at that season that Elisha had said unto her according to the time of life. And when the child was grown, it fell on a day that he went out to his father, to the reapers, and he said unto his father, My head, my head. And he said to the lad, Carry him to the mother. And when he had taken him and brought on her knees till noon and then died and she went up and laid him on the bed of the man of the god and shut the door upon him and went out and she called unto her husband and said send me i pray thee one of the young men and one of the asses that i may run to the man of god and come again and he said wherefore wilt thou go to him this day it is neither new moon nor sabbath and she said it shall be well then she said and said to her servant, Drive and go forward. Slack not for thine riding for me, except I bid thee. So she went out, or she went and came unto the man of God to Mount Carmel. And it came to pass, when the man of God saw her afar off, that he said to Gehazi, his servant, Behold, yonder is that Shumanite. 
Run now, I pray thee, to meet her, and say unto her, Is it well with thee? Is it well with thy husband? Is it well with the child? And she, said, and she answered, It is well. And when she came to the man of God to the hill, she caught him by the feet, but Gehazi came near to thrust her away. And the man of God said, Let her alone, for her soul is vexed within her, and the Lord hath hid it from me and hath not told me. Then she said, Did I desire a son of my Lord? Did I not say, Do not deceive me? Gird up thy loins, and take my staff in thine hand, and go thy way. If thou meet any man, salute him not. And if any salute thee, answer him not and lay my staff upon the face of the child. And the mother of the child said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. And he arose and followed her. And Gehazi passed on before them, and laid the staff upon the face of the child, their voice, nor hearing. Wherefore he went again to meet him, and told him, saying, The child is not awakened. And when Elijah was coming to the house, behold, the child was dead and laid upon his bed. He went in, therefore, and shut the door upon them twain and prayed unto the Lord. And he went up and lay upon the child and put his mouth upon his mouth and his eyes upon his eyes and his hands upon his hands. And he stretched up for the child and the flesh of the child waxed warm. Then he returned and walked in the house to and fro and went up and stretched himself upon him. And the child sneezed seven times and the child opened his eyes. And he called Gehazi and said, call this Shumanite. So he called her. And when she was come in unto him, he said, take up thy son. Then she went in and fell at his feet and fell to the ground and took up her son and went out. Hallelujah. Thank God. All right. Where are we at? Hallelujah. Is, 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 am I getting static in there, everybody? Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah. Right. Thank you, Jim, James. Hallelujah. My good friend, James. My good friend, James. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Y'all drank some coffee. Well, up here in the mountains, internet's been goofy all day long. So, now, I want to go over this with you. <sighs> Forgive me. Uh, praise God. Now, start making verse 8. It fell on a day that, there, that Elisha passed in the Shuman. There was a great woman, and she constrained him to eat bread. And so it was. This woman is a Gentile. Hmm. How about you down there, James? Is it is it is it buzzing with you too? Yep. Um, Hunter, am I buzzing with you? Am I am I distorted with you at all, James? Am I distorted with you? Is, is it distorted for everybody? Okay, I can go out and come back in. We can start this all up. You know, it's already read. In and out for me. Well, then it must be mine. So let's do that. I'll break it down, and I'll come right back, and I'll, co I'll correct it. Okay? Steven says it's not him. Everybody else says. Donna P says she's good. I don't know. Maybe it's y'all's zone over there. Okay, well, in that case, we won't break it down. We'll stay right here. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if, if everybody would be corrupted, if mine were corrupted, wouldn't y'all think? So I'm sounding warbly. Hmm. I don't know if I can help that for him. Uh, if I break it down and come back in, not good here. All right, I'm going to break it down and come back. All right, folks. Crash landing. Here we go.